All right, so here's kind of what we had initially. I cannot stand that. I hate blind boxes. I think this one looks better than the Wind Charger based off of the colors. As I was actually being funny, I didn't really think you were gonna hone in on this, but so I changed all that. I do like the new one better, I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, is that a new thing? Oh, look at that, I guess I love it. I actually think you should get those heels for, for your wife. I think she would look great in them. <laughs> For my wife, I buy them for me. <laughs> Welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I am your guy, Bobby the Bot here. And I am your con, James. And it's been an exciting day today, one way or the other. Uh, we are back with another round of news, but before we get into that, uh, we want to thank everybody who came out and spent some time with us on our first live. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm assu I'm, I'm going to speak for James and said he did as well. Um, but really, really want to thank you guys for that. Really appreciate all the energy in there, all the comments. It was really fun. And we definitely plan on doing it again. Uh, we also, members, stay tuned. We will be doing a members only live very soon. Um, we'll actually be sending out a, a message so we can get some days together of when we can do that. Um, also, uh, want to thank our official sponsor, The Chosen Prime, uh, for all the figures that we talk about or review, whether they're out now or coming out in the future. You can definitely get your pre-orders in or any orders there as well. Also, we want to thank our subscribers. Uh, really appreciate you guys. You are the reason that we're doing this channel. Uh, it makes us feel good. Whether you agree with us, disagree with us, we love it. Uh, again, we're all one here for Transformer Love. And then to our members, as I talked about earlier, really do appreciate you. It means a lot to us. And again, thank you all for this uh, supporting us on this journey. Okay. I couldn't have said it better myself. So with that being said, why don't we just jump into it? And the first thing is Fans Hobby put a notice out there for Chinese New Year, um, saying that all new orders will not be delivered or shipped out until um, February 22nd, 26th, excuse me. Um, so Chinese New Year is upon us and don't expect to get anything from these Chinese retailers anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, I think all of my stuff, well, I changed that. A lot of my stuff has gotten shipped, but I, I think I still will be missing some, but looking forward to what's coming. Yeah. Well, good, I can't wait to see that when we do our haul. Um, next, Joe Leahy, Leahy, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, Mr. Joe, um, will be there. He is the voice of um, Razor Claw, and it's his first ever convention appearance. So I don't know what he does, if he's a voice actor or if this was like a one-off gig for him, but that's pretty cool. Now, do you have your tech spec ready for Razor Claw? I do not, but I am oh. trying to work with Chris to see if we can get this in before TFCon, because I would like to, uh, I think they were part of the 97, uh, or not 97, 87. 87. Yeah, 87 release. And so I have 84 and 85 right now, so. I, um... Yeah, and I think the other members are going to be there. A oh, Predaking. I think Tantrum and Dive Bomb. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I remember seeing other uh, members of Predaking. This is going to start a whole nother thing for me now. <laughs> I should have I just stayed away from it. But oh well. Okay, well, let's keep it going with some leaks. We've got the Autobot multi-pack multi wheel jack. Wow, I didn't expect that to be such a tongue twister. A first look. Um, now, since you are the bot, what do you think of this? Well, it's a repaint, in essence, mm -hmm. in two co tune colors. So it, it looks better. I'm honestly, I haven't touched this wheel jack mold since it came out. So I don't remember anything really about it. It it's okay. Um I again I would have liked something new, you know, and unfortunately I, that's not happening. I can see why. Um I have the exhaust version of this mold. 
and um the arm proportions really get on my nerves it's a good mold don't get me wrong i like um, it it's, it's better than a lot of the stuff that's coming out now in my opinion but that how how long the bottom portion of the arms are to the it, it, that's always annoyed me and i'm i, I know why it's because it, you know transformation stuff but like it's just not my favorite but other than that i think it looks good it's not for me i'm not my cup of energon but i think you will be picking up this five pack now this price the price is definitely gonna determine what i do with this because yeah. so far i don't love the i don't love the trail breaker and this is just okay yeah time will tell all right Transformers fans, there are actually two figures that were leaked while we were recording this video. So we decided to add this in so we could go ahead and talk about it. So we will just be looking at TFW, um, their images that are on there. I'm just going to do a, a um, screenshot of that. So let's get into it. Now, Bobby, I think you're going to like this first one, and it is Gamer Edition Sideswipe. So what do you think of this image? I don't like it still. It's, I think it looks okay. a lot better. It looks a lot better. I think but the, the I chest like the looks less like a round chip. You know, it looks more like a chest. And I can see, I, I think this looks a hundred times better. Uh, you know what? This actually, oh God, those legs, those legs, what's going on? Um, Flipper Feet 2.0. Yeah, he's been hanging out with Beachcomber or something like that. Um, not Beachcomber, Sea Spray um trying to go skiing on the, his back i like the gun i'm not i like the alt mode yeah i i can't i i i you, you know the first i think it looks a lot better than when we were um first talking about it this this i can see why people are saying this thing looks like the best gamer edition thing to come out yet because it does look better than that bumblebee i'm sorry bobby i know you like mr Norto no torso but it does look better than that in my well, opinion yeah i and i'm i did pick up the bumblebee i i love the alt mode of the bumblebee and that's what he is forever living in the i don't know what this is going to probably be like 35 bucks or something like that for this um Sideswipe. I would assume that it would only be twenty five. It's deluxe. Okay, twenty five. Yeah, yeah. I so I I I don't hate it. So I don't love it. I don't like it. I, I don't like it either. But I like the, the either which way. Okay. Let's get into something that we haven't seen yet, and that is this guy. So this is Shard, another one of the Rock people. Um, why don't you talk about what you think about it first, and then I'll go. When I first saw this, I thought, is this going to be... Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. You, you completely threw me off there. I thought yeah. that this was going to be Springer, or I thought that was Springer. First thing I thought about. Helicopter and in those colors. Wow, that's interesting how the blades go on the back. That's kind of cool. This one doesn't look that bad i like the colors I, I i like how it's it's not just a single color the the green and the yellow and the blue they kind of blend together it doesn't necessarily look like rock it looks like something but i'm i'm okay with this don't love it but i'm okay with it i actually kind of like it I like the alt mode. I like the bot mode. This is one. It's unique enough that I might actually be picking it up. I think this is really cool. If I see it in store. Now, if we move, let's let's look. To... He looks tiny, though. That's a core class figure that he's holding in his hand. This thing looks small. But I actually like it. You know, time will tell if I actually pick it up or not. I like the colors, like you said. I like all the different configuration for these swords. Let's see. Like, I like how they're like this on the back. And then yeah. he could do weird stuff like that. You know I like weird. Um, this looks like a fun figure. This is one I want to see out of Hasbro. Maybe not covered in rocks, but the figure itself 
looks good. So, you know, kudos to Hasbro. I, I think I like this. So this would be one of those figures that if, if this was, if they called him Springer, I would absolutely hate it. But because they, you know, Shard, I don't know who Shard is in the Transformer world. So to me, I'm thinking of a Shard, like a, a piece of something. So this works for me. I possibly could pick it up. Him holding that other one, may, it didn't look like it was on the ground and, and they could have used some clear to blur it out. But if that's, if him holding a core class, if his arm's strong enough to hold a core class up like that, I'm like, oh, those are some, some good joints there. Yeah, yeah. It's so, probably on something and they just blurred it out. I don't right. think they did, Bobby. I think his arm's just locked because it's straight. Um, but yeah. I don't hate this, so stay tuned whether or not I pick it up or not. I'm this has me excited to see what else Hasbro can pull out of their butts and <laughs> give to us because this is what I want to see more of. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is unique. And as somebody who's weird and likes unique things, that I might that this actually reminded me of the Dinobot from the Transformers movie five that was only in the toy that was this blue to green um, slash, I think, I don't remember, but that's who what I thought it was originally. But so, yeah, now um, anything else you want to say about this? No, I look forward to seeing this in store, hopefully, and I can grab it and you can grab it. If you see it, yeah, yeah. maybe grab me one. OK, we will do. And if. It's not even announced yet. I think we got some time, but you know, when the time comes, that will definitely happen. Now we're gonna go ahead and let our past self continue with this. All right, so let's get into what's announced. Now, if you already watched our video from yesterday, if you're not a member or today, if you are a member, um, we talked about the new HasLab and we're gonna still talk about it because we got some prototype images shots. Um, I think he looks mistransformed. His chest is far too wide in the single bot one, the the, the core robot. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. The the like boob flaps are a little too wide. Yeah, um, and it tapped in. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have anything else to say about these? I, uh, I don't as of yet. I will when we start diving into these a little bit more because I actually brought out the originals and so i'll be showing those and kind of um i didn't i i have the optimus in and the combined mode and i have the ultra magnus separate but well i guess i can kind of show now the why ultra don't you magnus. show ultra magnus now because this yeah. is the only image we have of him yeah so okay, let me let me let me see if i can make you big Let's yeah make me big solo mode. right right there, go ahead. Time. All right. So here's kind of what we had initially. And there were definitely problems with this that I think they've cleaned up on. Um, mainly this big opening in the chest here. I actually hated that as a kid. When I, uh, I shouldn't say a kid, but as a, a younger man, I hated that aspect of it. I hated the legs. They're just like really, really long and, you know, no articulation here. Um, and then the part that bothered me about this new one is that it seems like it still has some gap issues. So they really didn't address that. I wish they would have just used this piece and folded it over. And I think that would have like solved all the whole gap edge and things, but oh well. It seems like they didn't do it with this one as well. But here's Ultra Magnus and the hands we were talking about that we didn't like. <laughs> Does he same. have a ball jointed thumb? He actually, he does not have a, he has the thumbs up. A hinge, it's the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, oh, wow, I thought it would be a ball joint. So yeah, um, there are upgrades. I, I you know, like, I, I think I said that. You said it, yeah. It's just not, it doesn't wow you because, uh, forgive me, I don't remember the commoner's name, but they said after G1, it's hard to update these figures because they look so screen accurate already you know and I, I i have to agree with that honestly 
I don't even think I I don't I don't disagree, but I don't necessarily 100% agree as well. There's things you can do to upgrade them because it's not the paint or anything like that. But we're talking about you know giving them articulated hands. I mean, giving okay, giving let me, them. Let me let me take that back a second. I was talking about look wise. Look wise, okay. Yeah, look yeah, wise. look wise. Yeah, yeah, look wise. It's yeah, going you're... to look just the same because that's what it looked like. But you are right. There are little things you can do. So why don't we let's move on and we'll continue talking about the little things on the next slide, which is the um, Optimus and in the super mode. So and there's Bobby's right there, saying hi. So I'm not going to solo you because we could see it here. Um, I always, that is one of the things, yes, that, that I think is good. But I've always hated the hands on this figure. Always. And they didn't improve on them, on this. Honestly, if the hands were, like, you know, movable, I might have picked this up. Going to be honest with you. Little things like that, you know, make it or break it for me. And um, they didn't. It's the same thing. I know there's going to be an upgrade set to fix it, but I'm not paying an upgrade set on a $250 set. Well, that's something that we didn't hear. If it's, it, I mean, I think they would have said it, but maybe there are lights and sounds in it. Maybe. Again, those are things that it for the price point. Again, what bothers me is with the price point, I expect upgrades so if you're taking away things that were pretty cool gimmicks with the original and you're charging so much more i don't understand i can't put two and two together of why it costs so much more it looks the same that's fine i'm, I'm happy with it looking the same but do more if, it, if it's going to look the same it's a little bit bigger great the hands don't move the sounds aren't there you know, no lights or whatever. What's the price point that's going to make me say I need to retire these to get this? Now, granted, the Ultra Magnus it looks better. Um, you know, there's there's certain things that are are details that are better, but I don't think they're 250 bucks better. And that's for my this issue. figure who you don't really have a connection to as well. And 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 the thing is, is I have it. So and and you know, I had to go. It's it's on my shelf or on, in one of my cases with the rest of the RID stuff I have. So I have it, and I've had it for you know when since it first came out. So it's it's not even a, you know I don't have the nostalgia or anything like that. It's just more so it's a financial thing. Like this doesn't make sense. And so when people ask me why do I how do I buy so many transformers, I buy things that I think are worth it or on sale or whatever and. I have well over 3,000 Transformers, so it's not that I'm being cheap by, by any means. It's just a matter of, this doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, and I, I do got to say, this little guy, whatever, hit, Blue Bolt, I think Blue they Bolt. called him. I think he's cool. I'm really happy that they're doing something like this. This is what I would expect a HasLab to do, where it's more um, innovative. This feels like, and we got comments on that video that said this feels like something that you would just, it should be a retail release. Yep. You know, maybe two years, you release one and then the other one or whatnot. And it really feels like that. This doesn't feel like they're celebrating the 40th anniversary of G1. I'll tell you something. I'm not that... saying they have to. 40th anniversary of Transformers. I get it. You know, this is an Optimus Prime that hasn't had a toy since back in the day. But at the same time, you know, I again, forgive me, I don't remember all of the comments, but one of the commenters said um, they should have done a five pack with all of the main Optimus Primes. Yeah, I saw that. That would have been, I know you would have got that right off the bat. I would have probably been like, here's my money just to put it away, not even open it. You know what I mean? Um, it, that's but with that, and, and I actually responded to that comment, and I said, that, you know, honestly, there is no pleasing us. And when I say us, meaning the community, because they would have came out with that five pack, it would have probably been 
you know, one or two primes that I actually liked. It would have been three that I hated, and then I would have been I would have been mad that I have spent so much money for three extra figures that I don't really want and only want the two and then I'll be like I'll start saying hey why don't you separate it and sell it separately or something like that so again there's always going to be you know uh uh tilt this way or that way of how it's going to be it was just more so again financially that's all I'm talking about if if I didn't have this figure and I saw this because it does look good and I think I said that earlier it does look good and they've they've made slight changes I just don't see it for 250 if it was like 200 200 would be, be my max point but like 189 done take my money you know otherwise you're now getting into the the really nice like i said, said earlier really nice fans toys figures really nice you know uh uh fans hobby figures you know some of those third parties that are going to have the things that we're talking about this figure missing and one thing I noticed that I don't know if they showed it or not, I hated how Ultra Magnus held this. It like, it didn't fit in his fist. It just pegged in on the side. And I wonder if it's going to do the same because I would absolutely, again, hate that. Yeah, they probably fixed it. But let's keep it going to talk about something new. And those are the tiers. Um, first, they showed off the Matrix Blade accessory, which... I understand it's from the show, but it does look a little funky. I like it. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I love oversized weapons, so I actually think this is fun and cool. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of huge. It's a lot of huge. It's almost double the size of him. I don't care for that. I like the colors on it. I, I love the colors on it, and it looks like it. You know, he can. He could definitely do some damage. It looks like he can kill Unicron with that. Yeah, so moving on, tier two at 16,000, you get two stands and they combine into a ramp. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm ready to stop talking about this HasLab, honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. My final thing is, I just don't feel like this is evocative of what a HasLab should be. Haslab should be innovative. Haslab should be um, the breaking, you know, the, the groundbreaking figures, you know, something that we've never seen before. This feels like a slight upgrade to the 2001 figure minus the license sounds. We're going to just leave that out. So, you know, please let us know in the comment how wrong we are and um, how many of you are going to be picking this up. 23 years and this is what we get. Yeah. Oh, from two thousand and one. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, okay. I get. You. I. I'm like, give me Skybite. I would have snatched that up in a heartbeat. I mentioned that uh, in, the, uh, in the comments that you would have done. Oh, that. you did. <laughs> masterpiece Skybite and give us a masterpiece Skybite and a masterpiece Gigatron. But they're gone. I, I would have bought those in a heartbeat. But oh, I guess that's why I'm the con. I kind of like these two. Um, let's move it on to something softer. We've got the Mochi Box Plush Wave 2 Megatron and um, Seekers. They are 15 centimeters tall and they're Ami Ami Asia exclusive. So for China and Japan. Um, I like them. I wouldn't pick them up, but I like them. I think they're adorable. I, I just picked up, you know, three figures, three little plush toys, but they were three bucks. So it was an easy pickup. Yeah on clearance I if would these were these three up. bucks i'd be buying all of them oh yeah i mean i'd probably do maybe 10 bucks i do 10 bucks for each one of them i do 10 bucks for one of them maybe megatron because i have two other plush megatrons but um i'd get that Skywarp. that would be it skywarp does look good yeah this is something you need to get the Japanese puzzle movie. So Super 7 is making a Transformers 86 Japanese movie poster puzzle. Whew. Will you be picking this up? You know, I thought about it. A thousand pieces is, is something I would put together in a, in less than a day. Um, I did think about it. I don't know. I would If I did get it, I would frame it and hang it up. Uh, I just don't know where I would put it yet, but it uh, it is tempting. 
well, you need to pick it up. Next, we've got um, the officially licensed 40th anniversary Devastator jacket by Sugomono. Um, this is one of those um, souvenir jackets that are $600. And I don't know why they're picking the Dinobots and Devastator to be on these jackets. You'd think they do Optimus and Megatron. Maybe they already did them. I could be wrong. That's true. Um, but I don't understand it because I don't think any jacket is worth $600. But that's just where my mind goes. Oh, well, I can't, I can't necessarily say that. Uh, but I do like how the individual members are, are on the sleeve. I think that's kind of cool. I just see that they're jumping into the Devastator Wars as well. So now we're going to have 18 companies make the Devastator and we're going to have probably five toy, uh, five clothing lines make Devastator related things. But um, I, I think you need to get this jacket for that. So when you like show it off, you could be in this. Honestly, if if I will start going into other realms of Transformers once I get down to four pages of pre-orders <laughs> don't ask him where he's at now all right yes. let's keep it going <laughs> um we've got yolo parks amk mini series blind box nemesis prime so you have a one in 60 chance to get this figure and you have a one in 30 chance to get skywarp i cannot stand that i hate blind boxes um but this figure looks really nice i will say and if I could get this for 10, 15 bucks, I think that's the price they're going for. I would get it, but I ain't doing the whole thing with, let me get 60 of them and then still not get it. <laughs> and have 30 of the ones you hate. I totally exactly. agree with you. I totally agree with you. It looks good. I think there's enough teal on here based off of this color, you know, just the, the the colors that they're using on here i think there might be enough teal on here to satisfy you it looks no. good i would potentially be in on something like this again even though it doesn't transform the blind box is definitely keeping me away from it and again if i got down to four pages that'd be something different but yeah i mean if it was 10 bucks i'd totally pick it up but yeah it's not but this next one is all for you bobby we've got what? this armor set from the movie uh i could i don't know exactly who's making this but this thing looks so crazy i love it i don't even like these things i love the gun hands it's the oh, I mean, stupidest yeah. looking thing that i love it so much um so when are you going to be picking this up to go with your optimus prime collection never so this <laughs> I, I I like the weapons probably more than I I shouldn't say probably more than I like the prime. I do not like that prime at all. Okay. Never have. Well, never. I mean, I I think that it's kind of ridiculous with those amount of guns on it. But it would kind of make sense for a robot to not worry about hands and just have guns when he's fighting. Um, this would look sick in a Nemesis color scheme. I will say that. All I'm saying is whoever he's about to go do battle with. Um, they better not bring a, a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, a knife to a Gatling gunfight. Yeah. Next, we've got New Ages H60D Dalton. So it's Legends Tailgate. Um, so you know I don't collect Legends, but I think this one looks a lot better than the Philly Wind Charger. I've always liked this color scheme. I really like the gas can gun. I know that's not what it's supposed to be, but that's what it reminds me of with mm -hmm. the with the whole X the thing. X on it. Yeah. Um, and I've always liked Tailgate because of his color scheme and the head with the mask. I think this looks really nice. Um, I won't be picking it up just because I don't need another Tailgate. Y'all know I'm not a Autobot collector, um, but I do like it. I, I think this is definitely something you should get. I could not find if they are a two-pack or not with him and um, I, Swerve. I think they are a two-pack. Wind Charger, not Swerve. Wind, Wind Charger. Charger. Yeah. I think they are a two-pack. I think I saw something earlier that uh okay. they are two pack i think this one looks better than the wind charger based off of the colors as i mentioned i didn't like the wind charger specifically because of the the two it's almost like a circle part in front of the windshield um 
it just it looked like a different color and even though it, it slightly looks like a different color here it's a little bit more hidden on this one at least from this this angle so i do like this one better but i won't be picking up either one of these i have them both in, in mp scale and they look a lot better to me yeah no i mean it makes sense but if, if i was a legends collector which you know there's a picture that we're going to talk about foreshadowing later on in the show um i think this would be perfect for it Next, there's a new company called Chaos Engines. So when you originally sent this to me, I thought it was Unrustable Bastards. And they said this is like the spiritual successor, but is a completely different company not connected with them. So um, here we have Infernal 58A, I think. Um, or is it Imperial? No, I think that's Infernal. Infernal. Either which way. Um, and he looks pretty cool. Um, I don't Bonnet. like the wheel legs because they make it so wide. Um, other than that, I think it looks good. What was that? Oh, is that a new thing? Oh, look at that. I guess I love it. That's, <laughs> that's well, AI well... for you. Uh, that's, <laughs> okay, it's only for you. Um, that is... I guess I'm picking this up then. Yeah, that's what, I mean, that's what it means to me. That's the sign right there. I think it looks good. I, I I love this motorcycle. It it looks it looks like some serious damage is about to go on. It reminds me of Akira. Yes, yes. And then that's what I was. We also got um, Overwatch, Overwatch, which looks like a police one, which I kind of like. The red and blue, yeah. See the, yeah, the lights. Yeah. yeah, but I have the white Unrustable Bastards one, and um, it's it's not my favorite thing in the world. It's a cool concept, but not my favorite. Um, but this one, I would probably buy. We've got Hell Rider, and Ghost Rider has always been one of my favorite Marvel characters. No, he's a guy with a. I know, right? It's so shocking. The guy with the flaming skull for a head that dresses like a biker is one of my favorites. Um, I think I would pick this one up in a heartbeat, honestly. I would pick up all three. I know you would. So let's talk about the company. Um, so Chaos Engine said they has not, have not officially launched yet, but they're slowly showing out concept arts to see if people are interested in it. Their timeline is the quarter one, they're going to show off the early concept arts, which we're looking at right now. Quarter two, they're going to reveal the physical prototype and some comparison pictures with other toy lines. Quarter three, they're going to release a free digital comic, which is currently being written and illustrated and set in the Chaos Engines world, which leads up to quarter four, three and four, where they'll be releasing purchasing information for the first wave of figures. And they might have a potential crowdfunding or pre-order. So if they do crowdfunding, I will put an order in for this one. And I'm sure you will put an order in for all of them. Depending on how much it costs, you're absolutely correct. Oh, you know you're going to do it no matter how much it costs. Um, let's move on to Collector's Crafts. And they showed off their G1-inspired blaster from a Generations Metroplex, which seems like an um, interesting figure since it's like a decade old at this point to make <laughs> upgrades for. But, you know, hey, they look nice. I have no complaints. Well, he also has the upgraded feet on wait, there. That, wait, that's, you can wait. Hold your tongue. Talk about the guns for now. Okay, my bad. So the guns look so vibrant, you know, like, like, whoa, I, I would almost want them to be a little bit of a darker red. Um, but they do look spot on, you know, look and aesthetics. They look spot on to what I, I remember the, uh, yeah. the G1 toys coming with. So yeah. that's kind of cool. I, mean, I always like when they do stuff like this. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say either. They look great. They look like what they should. Um, would I be picking these up if I had them? If he was in Metro Titan colors. Uh, but he also has the upgraded hip ratchets and ankle tilt adapters. I really like what Collector's Crafts does. Um, and if you're watching this, I really like what you do. But um, these missed the mark for me. I think the ankle tilt is amazing. Don't get me wrong. And the hip ratchets are great too. 
but they're just they're just not my favorite looking things in the world. You know, they, they look like some some booties, you know, like some yeah. some baby slippers or something like that. I and I, I think he did the best he could. I don't think you could have done anything different and had them look much better um, with how they op uh, they operate and whatnot. But oh yeah, I mean, I've, I can I've bought... see why somebody would buy them. I've bought from him before, and again, I love his work. And you know, shout out to him as well. I, I think he does great work. I just, I'm with you. I just don't like the way these look, and so that would make me skip out on them. Yep. And then we've got this. So this is a combiner that is a repaint of the SWAT team KO that came out. Yeah. It, oh. You gonna get it, Bobby? No. But no, I, think I thought you'd good. like it. It looks like a Power Ranger. I really, I really hate you right now. <laughs> I think no. you should get it, and because well, you know, I, the original, the original one that came out, I was thinking about it until I saw what it looked like. <laughs> when when we first saw when we first saw the original images, it was like a SWAT team combiner, and I'm like, that is cool. That is awesome. It comes with a boat. That is awesome. You know, it has an interesting helicopter. I'm totally down. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, yeah, that's not happening. And these colors make it even worse, in my like, opinion. I don't like these colors. Yeah. It, it, the, the legs are fine. Now, taking it back, this is not for us. This is obviously for kids. So I think I would have loved this if I was five or six. Oh, this used to be like the Transformer I got at the swap meet when I was back home in California. So, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, I think it'd be great for a kid, but it's not for my collection. And for those on, you know, in Atlanta, that's the flea market. <laughs> <laughs> they still call it the flea market out here. I, I was lost. I never heard flea market when I was in San Diego. So it was always the swap oh, meet. So Maybe that's a Southern California thing then. Let's get into some updates. So the first thing is the MDLX Starscream. So these images are from um, TFW 2005. I think it looks great, Sans the Feet. I I there with you. I, I was I was looking at the the lining in it. I was it almost looks like somebody you know went through the lining and stuff. It looks well, so yeah. They provincial. Uh, they do which that I just don't stuff. remember. Um, yeah, I just didn't remember it, it being as detailed. Uh, I really like the face as well. Oh, I'm not a big fan of a face personally. I like the let face. Let me let me scoot in. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not. It's it's just not my favorite star screen. Yeah, I think the, the one that we saw with Super Seven. That one was probably my favorite. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm joking. This... I, I figured as much. It <laughs> went right over your head. I, I think you. I, I figured you like the G1 aesthetic that you couldn't remember it being from the toy. And <laughs> there the, you the remember now. There, there, there. Oh yeah, I remember. But, but yeah, I I think this is. I like the null rays a lot. I think those look really really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I, it, and it's cheap. It's like one hundred and ten dollars. I actually looked up the price for this and I saw that they had the Nemesis Prime for like eighty or ninety, and I was like, ooh. That's not bad, but then I decided to against it. <laughs> no, you should go ahead and get no. it. I know you say, but it doesn't transform. <laughs> so, nope, not happening. Um, let's keep it moving. And we've got Figure King number 312. They showed off Cheddar Train as well as the Reactivate figures, but there were no new images for those. The Reactivate figures are already out. Um, but there were some new ones for Magmatron. And I go back on forth with this figure some days i look at it and i say that is the best looking thing in the world and then i look at this picture and i see all that stuff ha hanging off of his love handles and i'm like oh okay well and that kind of draws it back but then i look back at the head and i'm like that head looks amazing so i'm still bit all in on this um i like all the what different types of weapons like i i wouldn't pass on this so, so do you have your pre-order in for it I've had my pre-order in since they announced it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm completely out on this, but <laughs> that's that shouldn't be a surprise. No. I'm, I'm not I'm not on the fence. And, I'm not even close to the fence. And like, 
you know I haven't been buying a lot of Hasbro figures lately, so maybe I'll put some of that Hasbro budget into an upgrade set for this guy when one eventually comes out, you know, because we both know that that's going to happen and hopefully fill in those holes in that Nessie's neck. Yeah, gosh. I forgot about that until I just I looked at it. Ugh. Yeah, you know you're going to be picking it up. <laughs> Next, we've got DX9 <laughs> Mini Murphy, their Chrome Dome. Um, it looks like he's doing the Matrix right there. But, you know, it doesn't look horrible. But what do you think about it? This is more a character that you like. So Chrome Dome was, was not my, was probably one of my least favorite headmasters on both sides. Oh, really? On, on Autobot and Decepticon side. So I think it does, it looks way better in bot mode than it does in alt mode. And 100%. And these pictures of it, I, I love the posability of it. I mean, look at that articulation in those legs and stuff like that. I mean, that's that's really, really cool and really, really good. So I for a legends figure, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly. So that's mm -hmm. that's really, really cool. This figure would forever live in bot mode. I mean, I'd probably if it came in bot mode, I don't know if I'd transform it because that alt mode is so terrible uh, in my yeah. in my eyes. So it it's it's cool. I wouldn't be picking it up again. I have a, a MP Chrome Dome, and that's enough Chrome Domes actually for me. Yeah, at least at this point. Next, we've got Tiger Toys YH01 Tianshu, and this. Do you remember this thing? Mm -hmm. I think it still looks really cool. I love those axes. I. It looks really movie-like though, and that's the one thing that I'm kind of staying away. But. At the same time, if the movie bots looked like this, I don't think we would have as much of an issue with them. Um, it depends on the price for me. 100 bucks, yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up. But anything more than that, I probably won't. 110. But those axes are really cool. 110, I could probably find something better to do with those $10. Okay. I, I do have a pre order in for this. And was it Prime? Prime, what was that movie where they had the the big? Oh, oh, um, now Prime. I'm not, now you said Prime. I'm not going to be able to... Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. That's it. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of, and yeah. that's where I'm going with it. So movie characters, just not the Transformers, Bayverse movies, but more like a Pacific Rim type. And it's so crazy because I have this ship from Toy Easy. So yeah, well. Mm -hmm. You gotta get more of them. You gotta yeah. get fleet, right, Bobby? You might as well get um, looks, the ship looks tidal exactly wave like from Hasbro while you're doing it. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> That's MHG all you Toys is coming. <laughs> the MHG Toys is coming out with a um, Optimus Prime, like all the other KO figures, and this one comes with a lot of stuff. But do you see what the coolest part that this comes with is? Um, that's your little, the little figure guy that you love. Um, Noah, isn't that Noah right there for yeah, you? Yeah, I, I don't love Noah, but this is really cool. I've got to be honest. They did a great job with this. This is what I think Hasbro should have done instead of the transformable one. But I understand from a marketing standpoint why they would still want the transformer to transform. I get it. But this is much more screen accurate. And I could see people buying this set just for this Noah figure. I was actually being funny. I didn't really think you were going to hone in on this, but this is actually what I thought. The The figure looks looks great. All the little add, add on effects, um, the little weapons and stuff. This looks really cool and, and they did a really good job with it. I don't know how detailed the face is, but I mean, probably doesn't have eyes or, or anything like that, but who cares? It, it looks it looks accurate. The, the posibilities there and the the arm movements and the leg movements i think they did they knocked this one out i i do too you know and and i'm gonna say it again i think people will buy this set just for this little figure uh, if it's not like you know 70 dollars, which i don't think it's gonna be really yeah. KO, how, how the chaos have been but um yeah kudos to them for adding something into a ko that you know will make people buy it so are you buying it Oh, no. No, no. Um, if they come out with a Nemesis version and they make that guy a little purple guy or a green guy, then maybe. 
but mm -hmm. but not as Noah. <laughs> it, it'll be anti Noah or something. Let's get into what's coming out. First thing is the Takara Tomi um, Beast Wars again, Dinobots and Tarantulas. It's released in Hong Kong. There's a whole bunch of people on Twitter posting about it. Um, so we, I, I chose the side by side pictures so we could discuss them. And the new one does look a lot better with all the extra paint and stuff. I can't deny it. It does. It looks heads and tails better than the original one. The gold but... on the legs and chest, or gold on the um, crotch and, and legs looks really. And he has the nails painted. You gotta, you know, you gotta, if you're not wearing nails, nails you're not doing you drag. He has the the red in the inside of his tail. Um, I still hate the pink sword. I get it was like that in the show. I hate it. I wish they just make it silver. Um, but it looks a lot nicer. The blue is more vibrant. Yeah. It's like shiny. It's like metallic almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is a great step up. Um, if I was into Beast Wars Generations as much as I'm assuming other people are, I would totally be picking these up. But I'm good with the one I have just because of the price point. I don't want to buy the figure again when it's the same character. I, I'm guilty of doing that, but I don't love Beast Wars like that. Yeah. And here is Tarantulas. Um, this one, the main thing that I would like is the yellow on his legs. On his thighs, that was missing. And this one has it. But I actually think it's a downgrade with the chest because yeah. it is not the same purple that's everywhere else. It does have the black underneath. Um, if like the little nubbin. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't, it, it's, it's not real anatomy. Um, the solar plexus area, I think that looks better in black, but I think the chest being a more metallic purple, and maybe he was like that in the show. Maybe that was a different purple than everything else. I, I don't know exactly. Kinda doesn't look as good. I, I like the older one better. Uh, just Well, I think the legs need the silver paint on the side. Again, I don't on the side of the thighs. I don't necessarily the, the detailings there. They cut it out, but they didn't paint it. Yeah, the just looking at it, and I can't. Again, I wouldn't be able to remember anything about what this looked like on on the show. I just like the way the chest actually is what made me think about it. The chest looks more realistic. If we're talking about a toy, um, than the other one. It, it just looks like it's a different detail and color. And I like the, the off color there um, versus the, the bright purple on the other one. So I like the older one better. Um, the older oh, one. Oh, wait, the, the one on the left one. is the new one. Yeah. So I changed all that. I do like the new one better. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I just looked at, yeah. Well, you flipped it because the, the, the previous one were on the same side. Or I didn't I flip the nothing. Thing. These pictures came like this. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. So I take that back. Yes, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I, right. I, yeah. I, I agree. I don't I don't like how the purple is a different color, personally. But I, like I can understand why you would think I and then I didn't I don't have a picture of this, but they showed a spider mode too. And that if you know how it transforms is on it's it's like the head, the chest, and then the butt. And it's not a cohesive purple all the way across. Which gotcha. I didn't like as well. All right, let's keep it going. Half the Battle Toys is shipping out their orders to retailers. So if you guys like those little guys, like Noah that we just looked at, maybe maybe he designed it for them, um, you could go ahead and pick them up. Yeah, They're actually, not my cup of Energon, but, you know, I can see why people would like them. And they look great with your Metroplex that you just got. Oh, God. Yeah, well, I actually have the very first set that he did. And actually, ironically enough, I talked to him today. So his name's Mike. Shout out to Mike. I actually talked to him um, because I ordered something for my Unicron uh, at um, in Orlando. And so I was talking to him about some things that he's doing. And just to update, if anybody bought that hammer for Unicron, he's making some changes to it. And so um, updates to come soon from that. But these are right. these are really cool. I mean, they're you know world record record of smallest figure with articulation and stuff like that so uh they're kind of cool yeah so we'll keep you um up to date when we have more information on the hammer but these are really cool so i'm looking for i'm sure you're getting them i'll look forward to seeing them i don't know yet no yeah you're gonna be big enough 
Um, next, we've got New Age Toys H61 Triton and H61R Tremors. And these are via Mr. LJ on Weibo. Um, I really don't like these sea spray colors. I th the figure looks great, but I just don't like this new red chest with the blue and stuff. It just doesn't do it for me. The normal sea spray colors look fine, though. I mean, you know, but it looks like a prototype. Yeah. It does look like a prototype. Yeah, we keep showing it, that, that Trypticon. I know so. there's something behind it. If anybody in the comments knows what this sea spray is referencing, please let us know. I think it's a GoBot. But mm. let us know if if I'm right or if there's something in the 1984 coloring book of Transformers where he's this color. Yeah, I don't like these colors at all. It's not my favorite either. But I can see why somebody would pick them up. And I think the colors that are going to be coming out you need to pick up because you never have those in masterpiece scale. So yeah. don't go back on your word now, Bobby. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got Iron Factory EX 69 and 70, um, Drillhorn and Kill Bison. And again, they look great. I I, I put a pre order in for them. And, I know you did. Yeah. And uh, I, I think they look really good. They do. If they're, I they're was. Cute. If I was going to be collecting legends, I would be picking these guys up. And I know I said I don't like the leg, and I still don't like how. I wish it just turned into something, like it turned into a battle platform or something. Um, but the articulation is very nice. That is, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, it's very nice and it's really cool. Um, they also posted this photo, and this. If if I was going into legends, I can see why people like it because this is really neat. I really like it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Uh, let, me, let me not even look. I can't. <laughs> can't you not look? Because uh, yeah, no. these all it, look really cool. They look like great figures. Um, I think the scale is a little weird. I think Galvatron should be a little bit taller and Brainstorm should be a little bit smaller. But again, there's different sizes in legend scales. But right. I, I really, I think this looks great. So. Yeah. I, I was talking to a friend who was thinking about collecting and I said, pick a team, you know, don't just go in willy nilly, pick a team. Either you're going to go MP or you're going to go legends or you're going to go chug, whatever. I said, but pick a team because you don't want to go. I don't, I don't believe that. I feel like you should get your feet wet and see which one you like and go with that. And, you know, you can have a Legends collection as well as a, I have a Chug collection and an MP collection. I think you could you could you could have multiple ones. I, I don't I don't believe that. Um, I don't think you need to pick a team. I think everybody, you know, and collect what you want that. But again, that's why I'm the con and you're uh, you're the, 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 the button up the bot over there. And I'm like, do whatever you makes you feel happy. Good. Like, just do it. <laughs> no, no. Shout out to my, my boy, Mike um he, he's he's working on his his comic collection now but he's like me um he would have to have every single one and so yeah he he, he collects other things that he has so many he forgets he has them um so yeah if 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 he did legends and MP, we'd be in the same boat, and his wife would be cussing me out for getting him involved in it. So, <laughs> well, I guess that is also very dependent on your personality, yeah. because I can buy one Legends figure and be good. Well, you would have to have them all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about what's been recently released, and this first thing I think is all for you, Bobby, and that's Transformers and Irregular Choice clothing line has been released. So I actually really like these. <laughs> and if they weren't like $400, I would totally display them in my Transformer room. Because <laughs> they are so, I can't say the word on here. We're a family friendly show, aren't we? Oh, okay. Well, they're, they're so a word that starts with C and ends in T. Um, but, you know. I'm, I'm, not... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something and i don't think that's what you meant so i we're definitely gonna have to talk about that later yeah yeah maybe if if you want to ask me the question on the members live stream that's the only place i'm going to say it. um yeah. these are really cool though i think these are great um i know the only thing that's great some of this stuff is just 
weird. And this is the more normal stuff from the other stuff that you could find on there. I highly recommend all of you go check it out. Kudos to anybody that is confident enough to go out wearing some of this stuff. Not the purses, the purse, okay, that's whatever. But those Starscream shoes, and that's not even talking about the Soundwave shoes with the arms hanging off of them. Like, these are a fashion statement, and I hope to see somebody at TFCon wearing these so I could tell them good job, because these are interesting. And Bobby, how many pairs of those shoes are you going to buy? I actually think you should get those heels for for your wife. I think she would look great in them. <laughs> for my wife, <laughs> I buy them for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually, I actually looked through, and they have some low, low little heels on. And I actually thought about picking up some for my daughter. She loves. I don't heels. think they come in kid size. That's what I needed to check. I, I didn't. You know, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. I that, those would be very cute on her. I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah, because yeah. these Soundwave shoes don't look big at all. They look. I mean, it looks like a, a kid size there. So I don't know. <laughs> but I'm with you. If I saw somebody wearing those heels or wearing some of these things, you know, standing ovation. Um, I think. I don't know what 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 my what mine would say if I got her those those heels i mean she doesn't wear purple so a lot so you get I, the I, autobot ones they have them with yellow and their autobot symbol on them yeah and, and i think she i i personally when i saw them i, I personally like the decepticon version better they look they look kind of well kind of why, why don't you get her the autobot ones and then me and her can match when you know next time <laughs> keep it going and we've seen um rumble and frenzy whichever one you want to call which at um in u.s retail and this is from tfw boards member t hybrid so it's cool that these are out now i already saw the legacy ones if you watched our hall live or whatnot i got the megatron um so it's cool that they, they they're rounding it out slowly but surely it is still a desert over here i haven't seen much of anything i think i went to one target and i saw um um the tasmanian kid and um the megatron you got that was it like and that was the first store i've seen them in and i haven't seen them in anything since and that was probably a week and a half ago yeah so i think um you'll be picking up the um blue one negative, <laughs> negative. <laughs> almost negative. gotcha negative yeah no you're gonna be picking up the red one depending on whatever you guys want to call it we're not getting into that here but that would be a very good um debate show Frenzy. that we should do yeah okay yeah yeah I, I knew you were gonna pick up the blue one let's move on to something that i know you're picking up and that's the dr Wu prime commander in the dead version um has this shift on on its way to you yet you know, I think it has, and I meant to cancel this so one. So bad. Yo, you wanted to cancel it? Really? I, want, I wanted to cancel this one, and I, I was going to keep the other one, the other dead version, the colored uh, dead dead version. And I think it was too late. So, well, um, you'll like this when you get it, I'm sure. It, I do like the little Dr. Wu figure. I, I showed it in my, my haul for the mm -hmm. month, and... You know, uh, I might have, I did, definitely did it prematurely because I got a couple of packages in today. But, you know, I think, I think it's cute. I, I, I like it, and I actually like the transformation of it and everything. So it's, it's okay. I didn't spend a lot on yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm glad you're getting it. Um, you'll probably won't get this in MP size. So exactly. So, all right, let's talk about something that I think you're going to be very excited to get, and that's X Transbots Fury. Yeah. So, this is, I don't think it's been released quite yet, but why not? We'll just say it's released, and um, you'll be getting this very soon. I'm sure you already paid it off, and it's already shipping to some people. So, um, yeah. Um, are, you, are you happy to have the, the, uh, this duo completed? I am. I, I'm still waiting on fast to come uh so it just it just looks good you know and and yeah, they do they 
that's one thing X Transbox does well is it it looks great. It's the transformation or whatever that takes it out of that great conversation. But this looks really really good, and I'm I'm excited to get both. I haven't seen anyone with it say anything bad about it yet. I haven't heard any complaints. I've heard I've I've seen or heard some complaints about Big Load. Um, but I haven't seen or heard anything about this one yet. So really? fingers oh. crossed. Yeah. Um, hopefully it'll be great and you'll let me know. And then when they come out with the youth version, if it's good, then I'll pick them up. Because I do, even though it's X-Trans bots, I would probably pick them up if they were in colors that I wanted. Um, I love Runabout and Run Amok, So I don't know why. I always have. And they were so stupid. <laughs> I don't even I don't even remember one piece of media they were in besides like all hill Megatron or something like that. So yeah. I don't know. I just their designs always spoke to me. I don't like the extra wheel on the foot. I know it's fake. I know the toy had it. I understand why they have it. I just don't like it. I didn't like it about the the Hasbro version either. Yeah, didn't they didn't they roll like can you like pull them they back were and auto changers or something yeah. like that? Yeah. All right, well, that's everything we have for you today. Let us know your comments below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when we post a random video like we did yesterday. And um, what else should they do, Bobby? Uh, make sure to share. Make sure to subscribe. Wait, you already said that. Um, <laughs> I can't Do it remember. twice. Yeah, do it twice. Um, On two accounts. Do all that yeah, YouTube do that. stuff that you're supposed to do that would really help out, help, help us out. Even if you disagree with us today, you might agree with us tomorrow. But also, just make sure you're sharing your opinions with us. It helps. Um, please. We love it. Yeah, we do. And and please, again, we started this show. Ah, look at that. We started <laughs> this show as a debate show. And so, you know, it's fun. This is, you know, barbershop talk, whatever. We, we love the debate. If you love something, if you hate something, share it with us. And convince me to get something. It's happened before. Uh, yeah, it, it's not it's not hard if it's a nice. plastic nice. toy that transforms. So we will see you guys next time. Let me go ahead and convince Bobby to buy some of those shoes. Uh, no. And till all debates are won. <laughs>